Hello all, this is Dr. Anand Nayar. Subscribe to my YouTube channel Gyan with Anand Nayar for latest tech videos on unboxings, server administration, embedded systems, cloud computing, simulations, big data, Linux administration, research methodology, ethical hacking and many more. Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. From this video, I am starting new series of videos on R programming language and in this video, I will be demonstrating what is meant by R, what is meant by R Studio and then I will be taking care of installing R and R Studio on Ubuntu 16.04. Now before we proceed with installation of R and R Studio on 16.04 Ubuntu version, let us first of all understand regarding what is R and what is R Studio. So in if we talk of history, R is an implementation of the S programming language combined with lexical scoping semantics inspired by Scheme. S was created by John Chambers while at Bell Labs. There are some important differences but much of the code written for S runs unaltered. R was created by Ross Iheka and Robert Gentleman at the University of Auckland, New Zealand and is currently developed by the R development core team of which Chambers is a member. R is named partly after the first names of the first two R authors and partly as the name on the name of S. The project was conceived in 1992 with an initial version released in 1995 and a stable beta version in 2000. Now let us have some basic introduction regarding R. R is an open source programming language and software environment for statistical computing and graphics that is supported by the R Foundation for Statistical Computing. The R language is widely used among statisticians and data miners for developing statistical software and data analysis. Polls, surveys of data miners and studies of scholarly literature databases show that R's popularity has increased substantially in recent years. R is a GNU package. The source code of R software environment is written primarily in C, Fortran and R. R is freely available under the GNU general public license and pre-compiled binary versions are provided for various operating systems. Which means that R can not only be installed on Linux but it can be installed on Apple, Windows and even different other operating systems. While R has a command line interface, there are several graphical front end available also. So if we talk of paradigms, it is multi-paradigm, array, object-oriented, imperative, functional, procedure, reflected. The developer is basically known as the R core team and the stable release which is currently available is version 3.4.2 and it was released on September 28, 2017 about 47 days ago. If we talk of official website, you can see on the screen, it is r-project.org slash about.html. If you just search R on Google, you will land onto this website and you can see it demonstrates regarding introduction to R, regarding the R environment and even you can find the logo over here. And you can go for the contributors also so you can find all the contributors and even those persons who are right now working with the R programming languages and providing by donating the code, bug fixes and even documentations. So even if you go for some conferences so you can see different conferences are also being organized in France, Australia, Belgium, USA and even in uh, you can say Germany so regarding this R programming language and even there are some DSCs that is directions in statistical computing so all this type of different conferences are also handling. So if you go for doc documentation, if you click on manuals, you can find the detailed manual regarding introduction to R, R data import, R installations, writing R extensions, R internals, R reference index. So everything is properly being available on the net. So this is basic introduction about the R. So let us go with the R studio. It is known as a front end or you can say the front end or the graphical part in order to implement or work onto R. So this is known as the rstudio.com. It is the official website. So both the links of the R and the R studio will be available in the description below. So you can see that there are different types of uh, the packages which are available. That is R studio, shiny R packages. So if you click on learn more, so you can find that uh, there are most of the packages which are available like this, the like tiny YC, shiny markdowns, Sprinkler, ggplot for plotting the graph, etc. TidyR, NetRR, so different different packages are there and it is regularly updating. So 
one more website which I would like you to aware and I will be also opening this website again when I will be installing or mid in the part of our installation on Ubuntu 16.04 that is this website that is cran.r-project.org where you can find all the packages all the packages I can say available till date which can, can be installed along with the R so how you install this package how to install R will be covered in this video so in my next series of videos I will be covering more advanced concepts of R and even I will be also integrating some toolboxes also and make you layer make you aware regarding uh, more information about our programming language so let's go inside Ubuntu 16.04 which I have done the recent installation and the fresh installation for you people to understand how easily you can deploy R and you can make your Ubuntu a full functional R programming machine and in my next series of videos I will be also sharing how to install R programming language apart from Ubuntu that is on Windows 10 so right now I'm using Windows 10 but on this OS I will be also sharing how to install R programming language so let's go to Ubuntu so let's go to here so you can see that there are the following steps in order to install R so let us open the terminal so all the steps which I will be sharing will be available in the steps down below or onto my Facebook page which you can directly link on the link in the description below and you can find all the notes over here and even the notes to all of my videos over there so let us log in into root by the command that is su space minus and let's password so the loot root is logged in so let us first of all update the system so that we can update all the repositories so write down the command apt hyphen get update and press enter so after this the first this first step or you can say the second step to install R studio is to add the Ubuntu key ring so these are the two step or the commands which I will be first of all opening and then we will be adding the repository of R to my source dot list and then we will be updating the machine and then we will be installing the R programming language so you can see that all the packages are installed and the update has been done so let's clear this so let us take the first command and we add the key so let's control C and let's paste it so you can see that the JPG key is requesting the key so the steps are very simple simple to do and you just follow steps in order to install R without any hiccups onto your Ubuntu machine so let's wait for the answer it can take some time depending on your network speed so you can see that the key has been imported so now let us export this key and let us add to this so let's copy this and let's paste so the key has been added and ok so now we are all set to add the R repository to our etc slash apt slash sources file so that we can uh, just install R with just a simple command as we install on other Ubuntu operating systems so let's paste it and press enter so you can see that the command has added so now let us update the system by giving the command apt hyphen get update so you can see that it is connecting to cran.rstudio.com so now it has been integrated along with other packages of Ubuntu so after that we just uh, go with just one command that is apt hyphen get install r hyphen base and r hyphen base that is dev that is development so okay so the packages are updated okay great so now let's clear this and let us start with our installation so let's press enter so you can see it is requiring about 106 MB of download and it will take about 160 MB of additional disk space onto my computer. So let's press Y and press enter. So depending on the speed of your net connection, it can take up to, you can say between uh, two to three minutes or maybe less than a minute depending on your speed. So you can see that uh, about uh, it is getting a good speed and it is downloading fast. So you can see that some of the packages I would like to also share that G++ 5 version is also downloading. So different libraries are also being updated and downloaded along with R programming language. And uh, till it install, let me tell you that R is one of the very good languages which I am experiencing these days. As a programmer and as a expert 
into the area of sensor communications and machine learning and data mining. So you can see that in terms of machine learning, R is providing a very good space and a very good platform for research for that. So if you're working into machine learning or deep learning, or you want to go into more advanced research concepts of uh, data mining or vehicular ad hoc networks or cloud computing or even swarm intelligence or even internet of things. So any computing you can take, the, uh, the R programming language is regarded as one of the best languages to be taken care of if you implement machine learning into any of the concepts. So you can say that about 35% has been done. So we can see that almost 96% has been downloaded. So anytime it can uh, complete and then it will start with the installation of R. So you can say that about five minutes has been taken to download that package complete. And it is unpacking GCC, CPP, binutils and other library based files. So it will not take much time to install. So after the installation of R, we will start the package of R and then I will be demonstrating how to install some packages from CRAN and integrate with R programming language. So almost we are done. Okay, so it is setting up the Python, R base, everything. Okay, great. So in order to start R, make it sure that you write capital R, not small r. If you write small r, or I can say that is, if you write small r like this, it will give an error. Okay, so better to write capital R and you can see that this command will give you the start of the R. So now in order to install some packages, let me give you some demonstration. Let us install one package that is called text plot. So text plot is one of the great packages in which you can just give the data and it will be plotting up some graph. So let's paste this, which means the command that is install.packages text plot. Let's press enter and you can see that it will give us a, a list of packages where we can select the mirror. So depending on your country, you can take any mirror. So I just take anything like Australia and I click on OK. So depending on the speed of the server and the traffic on that server, it will download and integrate that package. So here is the link in order to download the text plot. So the text plot has been uh, installed. So let us initialize the text plot by giving the command that is library text plot. Let's paste it. And now let us give an example in which I plot some text as well as the speed and distance of the cars. So let us go with this command and let's copy and let's paste it. So let's see the output. So you can see that there is a very really beautiful output has come, which defines the distance and the speed and the number of cars which are there. So this is about the text plot. We, we, we are also having some other package called ggplot in order to plot the graphical paces. So let us install one more package that is called install. So let us install like with by typing. So install.packages. Let's go with one other package that is HTTP test. So you can take any package name from that website and you can just go with this command that is install.package and the package name by putting a single quote over here and press enter. So till it installs, let me go to the this package again. So you can say that uh, over here we have that is let me show you the package that is HTTP test so you can see that as such the name is there so if you want, want to install gravity so go for this install dot packages single quote gravity or gg pubble or gg fan so everything whatever it is there so you can go with this type of website and you can find all the packages which are listed over here in order to be installed with this website with the R. So here I've given the website link also and it is always updating by date as well as by name. So the next thing is to install the R Studio. So let us open another terminal. So if I go with the command that called arc, which means that we're using the 32 bit machine. If you're using the 64 bit machine, you can use either this thing or either this thing. But for the 32 bit machine, I will be using these type of uh, these commands in order to install it. So it is there. You can see that it is taking some time to install.
so depending on the size of the package it is uh, taking some time so it has downloaded the package and now it is setting up so it was a big package which I want you to see so this was the basic thing the part one of my video where I've demonstrated what is meant by R and what to install R programming in a uh, text based manner we will also go with a graphical based manner in which we will be installing that is the R studio so now let us come to the part B after it's installed so here so here it we have installed so let us click on control Z and let us quit out so now let us go with these commands that is apt hyphen get install g tabby core so let's copy this and let's paste so this will be used in order to install R Studio server on that. So after it installs, we will be downloading the R Studio from the website by the wget command. And then we will be using the GDB based uh, installer in order to install our R Studio server. So it is about a 9716 MB, about a 10 MB of package. And it will just taking 135 KB for additional disk space. So it is setting up, so not much time. So let's go with this command in order to download the R Studio from this and the latest uh, version I'm using. So let's paste this. So you can see that it is about 52 MB. So it will not take much time because my broadband speed is very high so it will not take much time because the server speed is very much high over this so then we just use this command in order to install the R Studio server and the package and the service will already will be starting so let's install and let's paste this command so do you want to install the software package press Y and press enter so it is unpacking the R Studio server, which is the version that is 1.1.383, which is the latest version right now, which is available. So you can see that it is active and it is running. So if you want to start the R Studio server, you have to open the web browser with the IP address with this port that is 8787. So let us take the IP address of this machine. That is 192.168.68.136. So let us open the web browser. 192.168.68.136 colon 8787 and press enter so you can say that R studio sign up is there so you can see that it is there so let us log in with this with my username and password my name and the login ID for my password and yes voila we can see the main terminal and all everything over here so you can see this is the package so let us run the basic uh, 2 plus 2 command so you can see it is giving the 4 so in order to install the package go to this packages tab and you can find all the packages which are already installed so if you want to install any other package so you can go with this like this package and you can just click on install so give the package name that is the package name is test hat which you want to use so click on install so you can see that it is installing the package so this was known as the basic introduction in which I have told you what is meant by R what is R studio how to install R how to install R studio on Ubuntu 16.04 in my coming videos I will be demonstrating more regarding R so I hope you like this video do give this a shot do install it and start practicing thank you so much for watching